This pandemic's impact on public transit systems will be felt by commuters even after the worst is over. That, according to transit advocates who warn without federal money, coronavirus could cripple systems like Metro. Trains are mostly empty of regular riders who those advocates say will not return quickly. So this is a really critical time for the industry. Paul Scutelis heads the American Public Transit Association. Just last month, Metro celebrated its first increase of riders in a decade. Now it says numbers have dropped by 90 percent. Metro told Congress it is now losing $50 million a month and is requesting emergency federal funding. They're going to have to suspend services or dramatically close uh, operations, uh, and I think that would be devastating. Thursday, Metro will close 19 stations to keep the system open for essential trips only. Metro spokesman Dan Stessel says the move avoids a system-wide shutdown. It's not sustainable for, for much, you know, for for the long haul, it's not like we're going to go you know, more than a year without some some interventions. Metro cannot say when it will reopen stations like College Park here, which it says saw only 300 riders on Monday. Transit advocates say failure of entire systems is a real option. They say federal money to public transit will help it rebound more quickly. At College Park Metro, Pete Mundine, WUSA 9.